So, wonderful evening friends, as we uh, uh, slowly progress each day, uh, sticking to our schedules, so uh, most of you might have covered and most of you will be in your revisions, but uh, so going by this, uh, quite a lot of students have uh, pending things covered in F, is uh, to be covered in FR and now. Uh, uh, as expected IDT and audit so what exactly you can do and uh, how to ensure uh, these things don't bother you I thought uh, you should uh, follow these things first one is do not let pending topics eat up too much of other subjects time for example uh, if you go by this uh, Take for example DT you completed and but you plan DT revision tomorrow 3 to 7 pm. Don't plot the end uh, out of 4 hours, 3 hours for effort. You can do it uh, out of 4 hours, a lot that uh, fix it 2 hours for DT revision, then the remaining 2 hours you can utilize for effort because indirectly whatever subjects you have complete hold on for example group 1 you are getting uh, for example say 140 and group 2 if you have complete control on DT you might get 190 so ultimately you will be passing both the groups so don't let pending subjects eat up too much of other subjects time and that is very very important and uh, take last three atoms papers or you can watch the video that I have shared for various subjects and check how much marks it has come from your pending topics. There is no point in uh, draining your uh, mental energy for the topics which is going to come only for four to five marks which you can even leave as choice and it's absolutely fine if you write properly for uh, 75 to 85 marks you will still get exemption so this is much clarity is very very required which you may not get from any other uh, so that is the issue and try to revise more on the subjects you have covered very very well that is all the more important and don't try to change too many things in the last 20 days a swapping here and there is fine but try to stick to the proper uh, study routine that is important and uh, another thing which you can very much do is talk to someone you you'll be having your own article ship colleagues or various other friends who might have completed the topic which you are pending with so he might have uh, left be left with some other topic which you have completed just talk over call or as possible meet up two to three hours exchange it so that if you test yourself like this you will know where you are getting stuck keep in mind this should not lead to any gossips or entertainment or various other things it should be pucker stick to the uh, subject things that you have to discuss that is very very important if uh, so if you do this at least both of you will be able to push each other and uh, do this up to october 20th not after that and avoid randomly start watching any videos uh, revolving your pending topics that might because he might talk about the topic that you completed so in case if you couldn't get anything then you might that will uh, reduce your confidence levels on the subject which you already have and uh, never let anything hamper your confidence levels to put things simply uh, my group 2 I studied only uh, 12 to 15 days but I still cleared though I wanted to revise for 2 months I was left to only 15 days but I still I was able to cross the line so these things happen things may not go according to the plan but if you keep focusing on the process, if you keep uh, covering something every day consistently, then uh, soon you will be a CA. So focus on the process and uh, in case if you require anything, do feel free to drop in the comments. All the very best, keep going, stay focused and uh, learn the concepts and enjoy every day. That is all the more important. Uh, pressurizing yourself and uh, studying long hours might not is the right approach. So keep these things in mind and uh, best wishes once again.